What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I want to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-42118-6 uh, for the latest PlayStation 4 update 9.03. Uh, so let's get right into this. First, I want to kind of show you that I have done the update. It has successfully installed into my PlayStation 4. And I'm going to kind of show you essentially how to fix it. So you can see right now this update has installed. Uh, basically, I'm good to go. And we're going to basically get right into it from here. What you want to do is if you can't even access your console, uh, make sure it's powered off completely by either pressing the power button and like completely holding it and turn the turns off. And if you can for somehow get into your console somehow, I would advise you to just turn it off and do not update it from the console itself, if especially if you're scared and you know errors happen, I would advise you to like basically just turn it off. So once your console is turned off, give it like five to 10 seconds, the white light on the right side, you can maybe see it's flashing. Once it completely stops flashing, we're gonna basically enter into safe mode to remove this error. And then we're gonna go through a couple of steps on how we can essentially fix this error code. So let's get right into it. Uh, it's still flashing. Just gonna let it wait, stop to flash. All right, so once it, it's completely turned off, you wanna hold the power button and you wanna hold it for about five to eight seconds. Normally you'll hear two beeps. My console sucks, I don't, you don't really hear anything at all. Uh, so I just kind of like guesstimate it from my head and you just kind of go from there. So you'll kind of see right now, boom. We are now in safe mode as you can see. Let it just uh, focus on it and you can see. It says connect the DualShock 4 using a USB cable. So be sure to connect your controller using the DualShock, uh, the, the uh, USB cable. You, this might be like the place where you're getting stuck and you're gonna have to use the D-pad. The analog stick doesn't work here. Now, when you're here, make sure you have the correct like USB cable. Sometimes it doesn't work because you're using an old one, a faulty cable. So try to play around with different cables and connect it to your controller to make it work. Now, once you're in here, I want you to do a couple of things before you can update your, uh, what's it called, PS4. If you're getting these errors, it, obviously you want to make sure, rebuild your database first. And then, like this might take some time, but make sure to rebuild the database. And once you're done, I want you to go to option number three and I want you to do update using the internet. So even though I have technically updated my console, you'll still see it. It'll give me the option to still re-update my PlayStation 4. So I want you to actually follow this, do the rebuild, and then try from here. And you will see most likely than not, most of the times you will not get that error persist any longer and your console will successfully update when you do it from here. If for whatever reason this doesn't work, I have a video and I will leave it in the description below. You can update it using a USB storage device. Uh, a lot of times this usually ends up fixing it because the error usually ends up happening because the update is getting corrupted. So having the update downloaded on a USB storage device instead helps fix the issue. So I would actually advise you if you can, the other ones are failing, go to this method next. Now, if sadly this is still failing, you, you're going to have to do option number six or seven. This is going to delete everything from your console and this should be used as a last resort. Number six will just completely delete it off of your console right away uh, and you don't need anything and it'll just initialize it. It'll basically bring it to factory reset. But most times you might have to do number seven, which is updating it and reinstalling it via a USB storage device. So it'll actually, you can download it from the Sony's website as you can see over there and you'll basically reinstall the, the console itself via the USB storage device and it'll give you the latest update and this error should not persist any longer. Uh, so this is basically what you're gonna have to do to essentially fix this error. Like I said, the last two methods, please try it as a last scenario. Try the methods that I mentioned first and you guys should be good to go. And yeah, then that should be basically it. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, just let me know in the comment section below. More than happy to be able to guys that. If you guys over liked the video, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that, I'm out. Peace.